Hey fan, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Amy, if you're new here, hi. So, the thumbnail probably gave you a hint, huh? Yeah. Okay, so I'm not here to poop poo on people, so I'm just throwing that out there. I know that this is a favorite for a lot of people. I just didn't have the same experience, man. I just didn't have it. I've set it down for a while when I was in the 60s range, right? Because it just like, there was no pull. There was no draw to it. Like if I put it down, not because I hated it, but just because, you know, I had other shit to do. Um, there was no, like, want to pick it back up again. You know what I mean? And my problem is, like, I feel very contradictory about it because there are some really great scenes in here, like the flow from start to end and just, we'll get to that. But you know what I mean? Like, there's good shit. It has all the trappings of a classic vampire novel, but, like, <sighs> Mindy knows what I mean. She knows what I mean. I'm not alone in this. <laughs> yeah. Salem's Lot. So, um, I don't know. This is a pretty freaking tiny ass. Let's, let's find something else to read because for synapses, because that was shit. Boop, boop, boop. Probably could have already had this up. Okay, so from the Wikipedia, Salem's Lot is a 1975 horror novel, and it's his second published novel, so after Carrie, and the story involves a writer named Ben Mears, who returns to the town of Jerusalem's Lot in Maine, where he lived from the age of five through nine, only to discover that the residents are becoming vampires. Okay, so... I think that the problem that a lot of us have, especially with the older books by Stephen King, and a lot of people like to say, oh, but it was a different time and all that. Yeah, I'm going there. And like, it just, it would hit different if we didn't know that shit was still happening. You know, you can it. Ugh. So it's not quite as bad as The Stand, which I'm like, 30 something percent into and I seriously just I don't want to say rage quit but I just was like you know what I'm done listening to you for now after like a good two hour session with it the audiobook because the n-word was said like just that one paragraph alone like fucking a like so there's definitely that, oh, well, this is 1975. I don't give a shit. Like, misogyny, racism, whatever the fuck. If you're saying certain words at any point in time in your fucking life, you probably knew it wasn't good. You probably, deep down, know it's bullshit to treat a woman like that, right? That kind of shit. Or just, like, bullying people, right? Like, these days, I'm just really sensitive to that kind of shit. Like, we're all just kind of, you know feeling very human these days if I if I may say you know and like you are not alone I'm not alone this is some shit right so I admit that maybe I'm just more sensitive to that kind of stuff like anything that even remotely comes across as bullyish I'm just out like I'm fucking out dude like I don't need this vibe like you just woke up for violence today what is your problem <laughs> you know like I just don't care and I'm gonna move on with my life right and I think that that was a part of my problem is you have these like this is one of those stories this is what I should have started with this is one of those stories where you're going to meet every single fucking member of the town before the story really even goes anywhere. It's not needful things, but it was trying to be. <laughs> Enough so that you'll hit a point, I hit a point where I was like, who the fuck is Mark? Oh, it's that one guy, that's right, okay, wait. No, it's that kid, it's that kid, duh. Okay, yes, you know what I mean? Like there's just so many people, like how the fuck am I supposed to keep track? Um. And just uh, the way, like, those offhanded things and shit just, like, wear me down, man. I'm just not here for it. <laughs> I'm bored now. So, like, 
I don't know. Let's go over my notes. I'm losing track of my shit. Okay. I made that point. I have a theory that the more he was published, the more he just let himself go, rambles and all. Which is funny if you've read On Writing, were the, all those words necessary? Every single word in that paragraph, were they necessary? <laughs> okay. There's a spot in the first 30 pages of this book in which he goes into so much detail. I really don't give a fuck. Dude, like, I don't care. I still don't care. Five page laters? Nope. Laters? Still don't care. Oh, yeah. Trigger warnings. I guess that's what I should have led with, huh? Trigger warnings. So, I've mentioned it before in a different video. <laughs> Talking about vibe checks. There was a day, I think, back when I was first when I first was picking it up, like in August or something, I was like watching RuPaul's Drag Race, trying to catch up and shit, you know. And I like finished that and I was like, all right, I'm gonna pick up this book again. Walked right into a scene of a young mom beating the shit out of her baby. and was like, whoa, <laughs> that's not where I was. Like, that's just not where I was. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be there, but it definitely was at that moment. Woo! Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like... Yeah. So, there's those notes. Moving on. I set it down... What was I? Page 63 or some shit like that? And I just set it down for a while. And then David was like, no. You just, I want to like, what are you having to bite your tongue? Cause I really was like right before shit starts happening. I was like, God, I don't care. And then when I, I was like, okay, David, all right. That's, that's a pretty spiffy analogy you got there, sir. I'm in, I'm in, I'm back in the game. Put me in coach. And I was like, damn, yeah, stuff's about to happen now, huh? Like, I think it's vague spoilers around pages 80 through 100 or so where shit really like you get these tiny fucking crumbs i don't know if it's gonna help with some pathing and finding a way home again but there are some crumbs that happen that just that's not enough man i'm gonna I'm, i don't know if it's, it's in a matter of slow burns i like i thought i liked slow burns i apparently didn't like this slow burn i don't fucking know i don't i'm just i keep trying to figure out how to explain myself and i got no words for you it's i feel like a walking contradiction all the trappings are there this is a vampire story i should i should just be a suck <laughs> i'm done man <laughs> i hate to just be a sucker for this shit right not this time, though. Not this time. Like, I just... I didn't care. David, I didn't care. About this book. I don't know. It does pick up. Shit starts happening. Um, and like I said before, there are parts, there are scenes where... Oh, ooh, ooh, it's so... Fuck, that was a good scene. But, like... You know, it ended. And I was moving on with different scenes. <laughs> that I don't, I don't even want to know what the, I'm not reading it to see what this note is. All I know is the note says, ew, what the fuck? Sexy? Ew. Like, apparently is one of those scenes. <laughs> the next page, sexy, still not okay. Still not okay. I think he was, I think it was a character thinking about a child or something. I don't know. And I was just like, come on, like, <sighs> I know they're just gonna be characters you're not supposed to fucking like. That's a bad guy. But I have a feeling that there's a plethora of options and ways to go about this, my friend. That's that's more my problem. Like, why is it always X, Y, or Z? Why can't it be a fucking W for once? I don't know. <laughs> make it make sense, please. <laughs> the line that's what she said, is in this fucking book. 1975, fam. Fuck you. All right. <laughs> God 
damn it, Steve. But yeah, the shop, there's a shop in this book, and I was like... Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Selling some antiques and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you got some baseball shit in there by any chance? Mm-hmm. There are, like, this, this particular scene, apparently, um... Is this the one? This is the scene I was talking about. Okay, there we go. From, like, start to finish. There's a scene between these two characters, right? So, shit's starting to dawn on people. Like, okay, one plus one is two. I don't want that to be the situation here, because that's not real, right? And it's like, you have one person on this end of the spectrum of the idea, and you have this person on the other, right? And the way... You know, it's like, well, can we talk about this? But like, we can't talk about that because that can't be happening. Well, okay, let's take the word can't out of the conversation. Now what? <laughs> I can't talk anymore. And just the flow of it all to getting the other person to really understand what's going on here. What is quite fucking possibly going on here if we're taking out the word can't from the conversation. If we're taking the word can't out of the con- Fuck me. I'm just gonna sit here tonight and think about all the ways I could have put that shit and all the ways I said it wrong. And so you have like those little minute details where even down to where like why is this person acting as though there's something happening in the house? Like, it's just us here having this conversation and shit. I mean, other than like a board creaking or something. Susie! Why is the board creaking? And stuff. And then just the evolution of that scene and the placements that they are on the spectrum, you know, from each other as... You know, you know, it was a beautiful scene. It was, it was a great fucking scene, but uh, that's what I mean. Like you'll have like moments like that where I'm just like, damn, Steve, that was some good shit. And yet just, I mean, eh. the only reason that I finished this besides David's one wonderful analogy is just pure stubbornness. I was like, I'm going to fucking finish this shit. It's going to happen. God damn it. Fuck. I feel like there is usually, not always, but there's usually a scene in a Stephen King story where I'm like, you nasty fuck. <laughs> you put that imagery into my fucking head. You did that. You did that. Ugh. <laughs> not every book. But, you know, and it's not like, it's not like, oh god, I can't handle it. It's like... <laughs> like it just sucked a lemon or something, whether you like it or not, you know? <laughs> it just... That shit's gonna pop up in random awkward times in my life, isn't it? It is. I think that if you've read a bunch of Stephen King, you're probably not gonna be surprised by much, especially if you read older shit. In many ways, this book is really fucking good. It is. It's good. It's a, it's a good classic vampire tale. I just... I don't care. I'm sorry. Like, I tried. I gave it, like... And when I would be reading it, like, they were a lot of times, especially one trip, the one started tripping up. It was like, oh, okay. Oh, oh, wow. Whoa. You know, like... <laughs> but... If I was just going through my day or whatever, it was not a book that I was like, you know what I mean? I wasn't, I read it sometimes when I was cooking or making tea or something, you know, letting it steep and shit, but like, it just wasn't, it, it's no fucking Mike Thorne. <laughs> so there you go. I did it. I did it. I finished Salem's Lot. Okay, I didn't realize it's been three weeks since my previous upload, so if you're still here, I'm sorry. I have no concept of time, and usually if like it's been a minute, probably means that I had a migraine for like a week or something. 
But also, I went uh, two years of this shit. If you're in the future, I filmed this in January of 2022. Two years of feeling like my family was making off like bandits, being absolute fucking recluses. But, you know, can't say that anymore. So, definitely needed a moment because that was some like. That was a crazy fucking day. I even tweeted. I even tweeted about that shit. That was a crazy fucking day. That went from, ooh, that could have been bad to, oh, fuck me. Are you kidding me right now, too? What? All in the span of 10 minutes. But yeah, like I, like I mentioned before, a bunch of us are feeling very human these days. For some of us for a while. You're not alone. I'm just going to say that you are definitely not alone. I too am quite human. So until next time and beyond, please take care. I'm trying as well. <laughs>